Hello, everyone. My name is Suji Chen, and I'm going to present my project that evaluates this post CNN, which is a new way of 60 object post estimation. So, in class, we have studied many post estimation methods. One typical way is the ICP method, where you find the correspondence between the scene and the model by iteratively looking for the closest pairs. Um, however, these methods may have certain deficiencies. For instance, methods like the ICP may not be able to handle occluded scenes, as shown in this picture. And since ICP requires 3D point clouds, and we usually only have these 2D images, and transferring from 2D to 3D point clouds could potentially raise some problems as well. And our post-CNN turns out to be a pretty robust method to handle these problems. It is a convolutional neural network that can learn the 60 poses of the objects from the RGB pictures. Here is an overall structure. So during the first stage of the network, several convolution layers, as well as ReLU and max pooling, are added to extract the features of the network. Then these features are used to predict the labeling of each object. This correct labeling is actually going to help us handle the occluded things. In the meantime, the features are used to parameterize the image further and then combined with the labelings and a half voting layer, the center or the location of each object will be successfully predicted. Then using this information, we can further predict the rotation. So this is the overall structure of the ProCNN. And I use one author's published PyTorch version to implement and test this ProCNN network. The network and data are stored on Google Drive, and all the dependencies are installed by Colab. So I compile the layers, set the configurations, and then I train and test. And here is a test result. You can see both the raw result and the refined result. We can see that the original result is already a great estimation over here. The refinement, of course, is even better. This is done by an additional ICP step, and it is only available because we have additional RGB dim images or like the depth images. Nevertheless, we can see that POSIN is already a great and robust method that can handle occlusions to the images and that other probes. But on the other hand, POSIN also has some downsides. The reason that I only showed one group of images here is that it takes a really long time to run the network each time and which could also potentially prevent us from setting this method. But in all, POSIN is a green method and may still need more investigation. Thank you.